strong families make a strong America, and I'm ready to fight for yours. And if I can make my voice heard in court, or even at Sunday Sauce, I can make your voice heard in Washington. Christian Meantime, the race for the 27th Congressional District getting even more crowded tonight. Attorney and Fox News contributor Beth Parlato announcing she, too, will run for the seat. State Senator Chris Jacobs already declared his candidacy seat currently held by Chris Collins. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui takes a look at a race heating up with more than one year to go before the general election. The more, the better. The more candidates to run for the 27th Congressional District, the better. That's according to Congressman Chris Collins, who says he's still undecided about running for re-election. But he took questions about the seat and his own political future during an event he hosted about wind turbines Tuesday. While he's still on the fence. And mine will come later this year. I'm not in any rush. And I'm ready to fight for yours. Others. And if I can make my voice heard in court. Like Beth Parlato, have already hit the campaign trail. She's the latest to formally throw her hat in the ring. The attorney from Darianne hopes to run on the Republican and conservative lines should she win the Republican primary next June. State Senator Chris Jacobs is also running. Some have floated Medal of Honor recipient David Bellavia's name, and Erie County Comptroller Stefan Mahailu says he's also considering the job. As for Collins, should he decide to run, he doesn't deny fundraising could be a challenge, since he's also facing federal charges. Well, I'm not guilty of any crime here, but I'm not saying that people don't jump to that unfortunate conclusion, and as a result, they sometimes are reluctant to put money in. Collins recently lent his own campaign $500,000, only adding to the speculation of whether he'll run. The message to my supporters and to others who may want to oppose me is simple. My campaign will be properly funded. My effectiveness cannot be questioned. And so when it comes time to run, I'll be pointing that out. Again, that primary election isn't until next June, so any candidate does have some time to decide. As you heard Collins say, he intends to make a decision by the end of the year. Reporting live in the newsroom, Allie Tui, 7 Eyewitness News.